Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of WeBuilds and check this out. I have this beautiful key in my hand and in this episode, I'm going to show you this keyless entry uh, push start button system, which I will be installing in my car later. But check this out. This is a beautiful key and when you unlock it, it shows Honda because I got it pre-programmed for my Honda City. Uh, <clears throat> so this key is basically it comes with a sports car or, you know, very high end cars. So uh, I got this key set. This is a keyless entry system. I got this for my car and we'll be installing it. Uh, I got it like one year ago for um, 600 ringgits, which is around 12,000 Indian rupees and around 150 US dollars. So I got this, but I did not install it because uh, to install it, I have to hamper a few security features of my car. Like I have to remove the um handle lock completely so i was a bit hesitant to install it but finally i decided to install it but in this video let me show you all the features uh, that come with this basically this is a key which has a touch screen inbuilt so you as uh, so this is the unlock button and here you have the charging point which is like type a or you know the charger that we use with android i don't know if it is type a or type b but it is definitely not type c right but it is very common you can find it so when you unlock it it shows a honda animation and there's a back button you swipe to unlock it it shows the time and battery on the top first thing is uh, start and stop uh, the engine remotely so basically you press and hold this and you can turn on your car's engine if it is off and again if you press and hold it uh, it will take a few seconds and it can turn off your engine so this is the first feature and then go back slide it to the right which you see this control panel which has four button unlock the car lock the car open the boot and then uh, find your car let's say uh, i mean basically it turns on your horn and lights uh, so that you know if you are missing your car in a parking lot you can find it this is the control panel and then if you slide it it's the same control panel in a different format if you like it this way you can use this one then this is the keyless entry keyless entry is basically as as soon as you go close to your car it will unlock your car right and you can turn it on and off right the here is the feature to switch it off and on and when you turn it on you have another feature which is if you want to unlock your car when you're near it or far it so basically the range at which you want to unlock your car i uh, you can set it to near or far as per you choose then if you slide it to the right it is a close window feature which will only work basically it, it will close your power windows and it will only work in case you have uh you know the auto window closer feature in your car most of the cars don't have it volkswagen cars have it skoda cars have it so if you have it uh, then it will work otherwise it won't but in my case i have installed a module the feature doesn't come inbuilt in honda city but then i installed a module in one of my videos if you haven't seen it please check it out where when you lock your car the windows are auto close so this feature already exists in my car and we can use it now uh right side then is remote launch this is basically just to pop your boot again you need to have a boot opening solenoid installed in your car i don't have it but i ordered it uh, with this product so i can install it uh, in you know when i install this then last is this phone number maybe if you lose the key you can save your phone number right here so that someone who finds the key can call you i have saved my phone number right there and then settings these are some very basic settings like the bluetooth name bluetooth pairing and all that date time language lock screen home screen all, all these things you can set there are different themes right there right this is all about the touch screen and other than that it also comes with a tech with these tactile switches which is a very good thing and you know something that you need so right this is to pop the hood unlock lock your car and this is to find your car so these buttons will help you in case your main battery goes off you can still use this to unlock your car and it is you know something that you need right next coming to this box this as i told you this is from china i don't know the brand but it is a it is the expensive one i did not want to because this is have something to do with the security of your car so i do not i did not want to um order the cheaper ones you could uh, have got it for like 20 us dollars also or let's say three four thousand indian rupees but i got the expensive one because uh, i want i don't want <laughs> my car to be stolen and i don't want it to stall uh you know while running so yeah this is a good one and then let's open it what do we get inside <clears throat> the first thing is this 
uh, this instruction manual in most of the cases uh, products that we get we skip reading the instruction manual but in this case I recommend that you go through it because anyways you need it because you need to uh, know how to make the connections and everything right here is the security hampering that I was talking about it shows you have to keep your key inside the keyhole and then uh, hide it somewhere there are two ways to do it I will show you when I will do it to my car other thing is you need to remove the handle lock that you can see here so that your handle doesn't lock right now with this you can also order a keypad which you can use to unlock your car with the lock uh, you know sequence let's say one two three four or something like that that i did not order because i don't need that since i have keyless entry so i won't be installing that then here is like in some cars there are two ignition wires so how to make the connections and install a relay on that it shows that procedure then here is everything that all the features that it has they also work with um uh, mobile application which is available in Android and App Store so you this is how you install the app and everything turning it over right here is the wiring diagram for our uh, push start stop button here are the different types of keys that they provide uh, the one that I got is not here but I will show you I have got this Audi style key right there I will show you what it is in just a bit then this these are the main module connections what which wire goes where and here is a pretty clear uh, you know definition of which wires to connect where so this is our uh, instruction manual next is i got this key this key is you know a normal key it is audi style key it is still better than my original key for my car it has unlock button lock button and then this one is uh, to locate your car now when you press this button on the back you can pull pull it out like this in normal cars when you get it OEM they have a physical key right here but this one doesn't have obviously because they don't know what kind of key are using so you can get your uh, original mechanical key you know duplicated and made in such a way that it fits inside this hole and then you can put a screw over there and then you use, use this for your mechanical key as well right and close it this is uh, I really love this key this is very nice to hold uh, very good feel and the switches are also they also feel very robust so yeah I like this next what do we have we have this main module which has an antenna and all the all the wires and everything then uh, goes into this module so here are the two main wires this is for GPS and rest of the accessories we can install right there okay so this is our main module keeping these things aside this one is just to cover your keyhole in case you decide to you know uh, remove your uh, key socket completely then you need to cover that place using this and uh, otherwise you can just in install the push start button there it's up to you but they provide this option which is good next we have this push start button check this out it's very nice nice to press and you know it feels very robust it has a blue ring outside and this this red amber light I guess for you know start and stop and then uh, turning your car on and everything right here is a zip tie which they give which is very considerate uh, given that it has so many wires to that we need to install and then this huge bag of all the wires let me open and find out what we have inside these in the box on the side let's open it okay so the first thing that we get inside it is this LED basically this is you know you must have seen when some cars are off and then their security system is armed they have that red light which keeps blinking right this is that light so you install it in a place where it is visible so that the thieves know that you have your alarm system is you know uh, on and it's armed this is another interesting thing this is the GPS module you it directly goes on this main module and you can keep it anywhere and then you can track your car using your mobile application right and then there's one socket I guess it will be used for some installation not sure we'll see when next okay these this is the antenna and it has a longer wire which you know uh, we need to install the antennas on both the ends one on the driver side and one on the um, passenger side so you have these two antennas one wire is smaller the other one is bigger bigger for passenger side this one is for driver side right and then we have this charging cable which is to charge our key that's that and let's see what else we have let's let me just take out everything right there 
okay this is the main wire and you know the socket is missing so i think this is the socket that we need to install with it and yeah i i, I think it just came off so i will use it when i will be installing it and this is another uh, main wire cable which goes to all the components like the indicator the horn and yeah it, this is very considerate they put some uh, sockets in it to get the ground connection and this one goes to our uh, main module right it would have been better if they had some uh, fuses installed wherever needed but they don't have it because i've seen it in some of the modules they do have and then we have some double sided tips which are for these antennas and then one this one is i focus for the led right and this this last trim i don't know what it is for but eventually when we start installing maybe we will find out so that's that here is everything all the features i have already talked about we have gps we have keyless entry we have uh, uh, push uh, remote start and stop and then push start button and applications and there are a lot of other features as well so this is gonna be the most interesting and most complex installation that i have done so far because it is going to uh, you know it is going to touch all the wirings that we have in our dashboard from our horn from our alarm from indicators to starting button to ignition all the wires we are going to uh, you, you know we have to tap into all the wires and we have to understand all the systems so if uh, i mean to do this you need to be a little bit tech, tech savvy if you haven't done anything else before no not even simple installations i don't recommend you to do it yourself uh, you better get it installed from a professional but if you are confident about it uh, about some wires and how it works at least some basics then you can do it and i tried finding this uh, you know installation videos on youtube there were a few but i couldn't find any uh, you know in detail which can make me confident on how to install it so i'll have to do a lot of r and d uh, I'll do it on my spare time and then I will do the installation but I will make sure you get a video which shows all the details on this installation. So uh, I will be posting that video soon. Stay tuned. Till then like, share, subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye bye. If you like this video please consider subscribing. This guy's not slowing down. Yeah that's confirmed. He's not stopping. Code 3.